Jake Boston Kemper, Agronomy Lead with Liquor Grow. Hi, I'm Katie Hess, Sales and Marketing here at Liquor Grow. Jake, um, we often talk about phantom yield loss. So, is there really a phantom yeah. in this corn yield That's loss? That's a great question. The question is, is there a phantom? Is right, there a phantom? This is a topic that could take way more than five minutes. So I'm going to wrap it up. Try to wrap it in up. In less as, than three. In less than three. Okay. So, in the early 1990s, Purdue did a study, and in that study, they found about a percent yield loss per point in moisture drop, which was a big deal, right? And so, in that study, the authors concluded that it was either yield loss from seed respiration, because the seed isn't quite dead, it's still using carbon and, and, and starch and, and sugars to power uh, maintenance respiration, okay? The other thing that concluded is it could have been because of eardrop or shelling at the head or lodged corn, all right? So that study got lots of people excited about trying to understand what was causing this yield loss as harvest dates got later. And that's where the phantom yield loss terminology started. Correct, absolutely. Okay, so since then there's been three different university studies done, academic studies, where they've looked at this question of phantom yield loss or where was the yield loss coming from? So since the early 90s, kind of spaced out every five or six years, there's been more academic studies done. The latest one was done at Iowa State and concluded in 2017. All right, and in all those academic studies since then, they have not been able to conclude that respiration was the cause of this phantom yield loss. So what is causing this phantom yield loss, Jake? So in most of those studies, they concluded that yes, as harvest date gets later, there is yield loss, but it's due to Fungi growing on the ears, that's using up the sugars and the starches in the ear. It's due to stalk lodge corn. It's due to increased shelling at the head. And it's due to eardrop. In fact, in the latest Iowa State study, they did not show a phantom yield loss. But what they did show is that harvest losses increased as harvest got delayed. So I'm not saying you shouldn't worry about harvest. I'm saying that there is no phantom. In fact, we think it's more due to the factors that I just mentioned of where the yield goes, not necessarily to a phantom yield loss. Now there's probably going to be some upset individuals because I'm saying this because there are some starch believers in the phantom, okay? And all I'm telling you is that the evidence by academic studies don't support that. You're going to find all kinds of articles on the inter internet and popular farm magazines that suggest there is a phantom. But I just don't see that evidence. And I'm a very evidence-driven person, as you know, Katie. Well, Jake, we always appreciate your scientific-based um, knowledge. And sometimes some are still going to believe in the ghost, though. Sounds good. Stay in the know with Liquor Grow.